So he want he was implying that this shit was gonna get violent to a level of some pock and big shit potentially. You know what I'm saying? Like this was going to be the most the safest beef in the history of hip hop. You know? Back man, how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody having an amazing day. Now, before we get into it real quick, I got a new show started, the tap in show. Y'all make sure you got tap in with it. We got a, a Italy episode and we got a France episode teaching y'all about the music scene and all that. But we're gonna get straight to business, man. I see J. Cole just dropped something. It seemed like this is the response to the Kendrick and Drake beef. Y'all know I covered some of the beef, you know, hectic beef, you know what I mean? Still don't think it's over all the way, but it's the first time I think J. Cole's speaking on it. I'm bringing my boy Gabe in from Detroit, you know what I mean? Y'all know when these dope issues come up, you know what I mean? These dope music uh, battle stuff, you got to bring somebody from Detroit in. So I got to bring my boy Gabe, you know, Detroit kind of holds the crown. You know, people look at him on the battle scene just because of Eminem. You know, a lot of people say that and all that. But we're going to bring Gabe in real quick. Everybody say what up to Gabe. All right, Gabe, Gabe, what's going on? What's going on? What up, though? Man, really looking forward to speaking on this issue. This is something I've been thinking about for a long time. So I'm glad he finally done spoke on it. So, uh, you know, us out here in this zeitgeist can give our little opinion and shit and see, uh, see how it's hitting out there. Got you. Before we get into the song, though, what you thought about the beef, like, up until this point? To me, honestly, it feel calculated, you know? Like, okay. it just feel calculated. It's hard for anything in life just to fall so perfectly in line for one individual. It just seemed, to me personally, it seems like the, the powers that be said, this dude getting too powerful, his run has been too long and too dominant, and... You know, it's time we we put him in his place, and it it, it feel a little bit calculated. So, okay, that's my stance on it. And and what's your stance on J Cole not speaking on nothing up until this point, or what's your stance on J Cole? You know his stance up until this point. You know, I know you didn't hear the song yet, but what's your stance on what you know how J Cole? You know how he maneuvered through this beef. I mean, do you want me to get my opinion now? Or you want to let the track run, and then I give it after that. After we let the track run, all right? We you can know? let the track run. We can let the track run. All Let's right. get ready. All right, all right. This is J Cole, Port Antonio. Let's see what he talking about. You know, it's crazy though the even the choice of uh you know the beat that they you know sampled yeah. you know he got conscious off that reasonable doubt beat he you yeah. know what i'm saying that's damn near sacrilege right there but you know yeah. hopefully and, he, you know he's spitting if he gonna choose that as the sample let's see what he's talking about because and, and, and you know jay you know jay said you made it a hot line i made it a hot song so this beat has some controversy to it too but let's keep it going yeah Let's get right to it. Right to it. Uh, young Jermaine walked a straight and narrow. Minimum wage jobs for the narrow. But still, my mind was on the zeros. I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds. So we were skipping church, but my eyes was on the sparrows. Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on a payroll. Shit, I want to shine too. I want dimes too. Jealous niggas want to know just how my rhymes blew. Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two. Now I'm bougie, I done outgrew the fountain blue. But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot. The dwell at the top, the veil where all my skeletons locked. If I could do it all over, then I never would swap. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops. I was Mike in red leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped. He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gon' bet on the block. He want a ball till he fall until the federals knock. And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock. You can't relate unless your father was not around. And your mother went out and found someone else and then brought him around. And they salaries didn't combine. When they married and brought you out of that poverty, then you moved to a soft little part of town so that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now 
Then your confidence start to drown But the rapping gave you some positive thoughts So you jot them down You jot them down Ride to it, ride to it What you thought about that verse? See, this is the thing about Cole, though. This is why I'm so disappointed in Cole, because it's never been a talent or a pin game thing with Cole. Like, yeah. my whole beef, not even really beef, but just what just was off-putting to me about this whole situation has nothing to do with his lyricism and his talent. It kind of yeah. has everything to do with, with uh, the ability that he has and how he chose to play the situation. Because okay. it's never been a question. Even the mixtape that he released when he originally came out, Seven Minute Drill, uh, coming at uh, K Dot. Yeah. The whole mixtape, the nigga was spitting. Like the whole mixtape. I'm calling the homies, everything. Like dog on here spitting. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. it it was a it was a level of disappointment that he 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 been wanting smoke for the last two years. Like okay. if you notice when he opened up himself to getting on features <clears throat> and everything like that, he been wanting smoke, calling okay. himself the king of the rap game. Can't nobody mess with his pen. Everything lined up perfectly for it to get on some strictly competitive rap shit. You got to the three top niggas in the game. You got K Dot, Drake, and Cole. Okay. K Dot had a run. Drake had a run. Cole lined up everything to finally boom make his mm. run and he he on top for a minute and the nigga okay. just I feel like he fumbled he got scary. All right, all right. Let's let, let's let's see what the second let's see what the second verse about real quick. Let's see. Ride to it, 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 y'all niggas ain't stopping me. 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 Yeah. Uh, Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time To find deliveries good as mine, you gotta search primes I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch Trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme I learned long ago you can't please them all and it hurts trying In this game where all you've got is your name like dirt I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirched mine Absurd times, with a fake get told it is wise I can see hating both of your eyes, but the third's blind So you search line but you struggle which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds i hate when raps become but like do not disturb signs can i get it if i see it's about the dough they instigate the fuckery because it's profitable but singing stop the violence tunes with dudes in hospitals i pulled the plug because i seen where that was about to go they wanted blood they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow they see this fire in my pen and think i'm dodging smoke i wouldn't have lost the battle dog i would have lost the bro I would have gained a phone and all for what just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable memes to be considered best of living rest, the weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies so lines got crossed perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war, I walked away with all they blood on me, now some will discredit me Try wipe away my pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Uh, my dog texted me, I share the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Uh, I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess a gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your minds, deep in your hearts, creeping up, finding emotions to touch, something inside to open you up, help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit. My nigga, y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Yeah. What you think about that? Bro, I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. I really ain't even feeling that shit. I ain't, ain't even feeling gonna it. hold you. Like, <laughs> lyrically, <laughs> lyr if I, like, let's get this out the way for all the trolls, all the people that's gonna be in the comments. Okay. I'm not speaking on 
Cole as a lyricist. Okay. Cole as a lyricist, I relate to the way Cole delivery is, the way he set up his metaphors 10 times more than the way I even relate to K-Dot. Okay. Previously to this situation, big Cole fan. You know what I'm saying? Big Cole fan because he knows how to weave that that lifestyle of, you know what I'm saying? I lived in the hood. I wasn't strictly a hood dude, but I grew up in around those surroundings, made it out, you know, so he could touch on that, that little Nas feel. He might have not been hands on, but gotcha. you know, he was first, he was, you know, third person peeping shit. So I've always respected that, his talent, his pin game, everything out there. So this has nothing to do with hate. This has everything to do with principle, right? Yeah. So the principle of the matter is, Drake done showed you major love, like put a full battery pack on you, took you on tour, gotcha. showed you love, even when you're not on tour, always shouting you out, brought you on tour when he saw you on your rise. On, no, just making you like really get into that point when you could be looked at as the top dog because K Dot had disappeared somewhere doing whatever weird shit he be doing. Gotcha. Drake was just, <laughs> gotcha. Drake was, you know, Drake been that guy for 15 years so his shit fading off a little bit but he's still gonna sell out concerts everything like that yeah. Cole just get to bring it getting on features stuff so Cole catching a little buzz super late in the game because Cole about 40. so super gotcha. late in the game but he catching a major buzz the song with Benny the Butcher the song with uh Bia all that shit major buzz Drake bring him on tour first person shooter all this different type of shit like really showing them love love and you telling me like I, okay let's just say for the sake of argument that you don't want to come at k-dot right yeah so you don't so you don't want to come at k-dot okay respect but once a nigga get to you can't play neutral when people get to coming at the dude about being a pedophile yeah when they're coming at the dude about being a culture vulture and all this type of stuff because when you play neutral that means you know what i'm saying you just it's like oh i don't want to ruffle no feathers because i agree with both sides it ain't nothing yeah. to agree with both sides if they calling your man a pedophile and they calling your man a, a a culture vulture that has showed you major love from the jump even back when y'all was young jits he brought you on tour because he was the first one to bubble just like he brought kate out on tour so yeah. for me to see that that's where you get to looking at it like no you a little bit clever past half because now you coming on this track and you telling drake like oh pick up your pen no nigga, you should have been picked up your pen it yeah. came at whoever i don't care if you my man's right yeah and i know we and you we vibe on a different level than somebody that might be a third party in the group and you get to beef it with him over some shit I'm mm -hmm. not gonna try to play both sides at some point if it's some if it's some beef beef like a, somebody really coming on your character like really attacking you and stuff like that calling you a pedophile calling you uh you know a culture vulture and everything like this like you just ain't been putting people on and I'm gonna have to say no dog that shit kind of you know that's fake to me like I ain't yeah. I ain't feeling that you know what I'm saying like no this my man he done show love da 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 I'm gonna speak up and even if I don't like say if it's some physical shit, even if I don't fight you, if you bring some 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 randoms around that's now trying to jump on and pile on, no, now we, now we can get active. You feel what I'm saying? So, so that's so what me, I don't respect about it. So let me ask you this. So how you think Drake looking at this track? I mean, I honestly I, I think it's just on some, yeah, okay, look, uh, you know, a little bit too too little too late type of situation like now now i know what it is you know what i'm saying like okay cool song you were spitting on that bitch. like you had some catchy uh some catchy metaphors wordplay was uh crazy but you know if we talking about the principle of the whole situation then you know it the shit come off a little corny you know hold on i want to see hold on real quick my bad for cutting you off i just want to see how this end real quick then i'm gonna take it hold on one second okay i just want to see if he say anything else all right all right so yeah now nah, he ain't saying nothing, nothing else on it so look yeah so this is my question to you so i feel like he was throwing little shots to kendrick in this 
So I feel like when he said I could easily get fake, you know, like I could get bots and all that to try to push a narrative. You know, I feel like he was saying that's what Kendrick did. You did you get that from it or not? No, no, because I just feel like because he said, you know, if he would have had some, he would have lost a bro. So you who's know, the bro he would have like, lost? Who's the bro he would have lost? He was talking about he was talking about K dot. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of it, he would have lost a bro. You know, so I don't think he was coming at K dot, but he was just addressing the nature of hip hop right now to where you know people trying to uh, get clickbait, people trying to um, you know farm they farm they stream I, I feel, it, they stream I, it farming I, stream farming and everything like i don't that. feel so like that's what he meant on the nature of the business i don't think that's what he meant the reason why because he said he said it he said i wouldn't have lost the battle so he for him saying i wouldn't have lost the battle then say he could have did that i feel like he's saying that's what won the battle like that's how i'm looking nah. at it because if you listen to it back right basically what he's basically saying to me is Hold on, I'm gonna just go to the part I'm talking about. Because it's profitable, but saying it's not the violence tools with do see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle, dog. I would have lost the bro. See, I wouldn't have lost the battle. I would so he's basically saying I would have won the battle at this point. But he pre he's saying either came at Kendrick crazy and he'd have lost he'd have lost their friendship, right? But now let's keep it going. Yeah. I would have gained the phone and all for what just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for okay. since the age of 14. Jermaine is okay, no pause kid. it right there. Pause it right there. So he's saying I would have, I wouldn't have lost the battle. I would have lost a bro and gained a foe. None of that matters, nigga. If if was a fifth, we'll all be drunk. You had a time to battle this dude, so you keeping on saying on a track like I wouldn't have lost it. No, bro. Like you can't say that no more. That's no, 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 no. Window. Now I feel you with that. I'm, I'm just curious about this part because to me, this part, I'm just wondering how people gonna take this part. So. I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of Okay, look, I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team. So remember, this everything he's saying he gotta do is what Kendrick did. Just listen. Age of 14, Jermaine is no king. If that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media, competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest. The weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing. Okay. He basically said, so that means I'd have had to dig up dirt. I'd have had to get a whole social media team to just put this, you know, narrative out there. And I understand the reason both of them took a swing at each other because they're trying to be the best. I think he's trying to say that's what Kendrick did. That's what I get from that. I don't get he's saying that's what he would have did because that's not every battle. Every battle don't, that's not every rap battle. This battle was specifically like that. So I think that was low-key shot at Kendrick. That's the point I'm trying to make with it. No, I think I don't see it as a I, that's what I'm saying. I understood exactly what you were saying and I see how it could be read as that but both Kendrick and both Kendrick and Drake were digging up dirt on each other and everything like that. I don't I from what I heard, you know, online rumors, I don't know if it's been um validated or anything like that, but you know, someone came out and said they were uh bot farm it was bot farms working in Kendrick favor to dislike tracks and do all this type of shit so i see that but yeah. but the thing about it is is it's like it didn't have to it didn't have to be that though you know it didn't have to be that it's like you could have just you when you came out with seven minute drill it was just about bars you know what i'm saying yeah and you could have kept it on a bar thing you didn't have to come out on stage at your north carolina concert and then apologize and then have your crowd saying we love you kendrick and all that corny shit. like you didn't have to do that you because because what he what he's trying to imply so he want he was implying that this shit was gonna get violent to a level of some pock and big shit potentially you know what i'm saying like this was going to be the most the safest beef in the history of hip-hop you know like we we're we're not dealing with people who are you know gang affiliated like that to where if 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 you guys are just lyrically going at it because the the essence of hip hop is competitive, you know yeah. the essence. But see, but but in see, the genre of the lyrical ones like but, Cole and K Dot. But you hold on. What I want to say is this. So I I get that, but I don't think he meant on a violent tip because 
I think he meant on a going below the belt tip. Like, you know, because even though this wasn't a violent beef, this was a damaging beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's a beef that got, you know, it's damaging. Like, it, it needs some repairs. Some some repairs got to be done after this. Because people looking at both sides funny, like they didn't look at certain, you know, look at them before the beef. You know what I mean? So some beefs happen and people... Some people looking at Kendrick really like he be hitting this girl and, you know, he embarrassed of him living somewhere else and all that other stuff. Some people looking at Drake like, you know, the stuff Kendrick was saying. So to me, I think he mean Kendrick more on that. Versus, that's Kendrick versus Drake. Cole but I think if J. Cole was in it, I think he would have been, he'd, he'd have been on one of them This I think it would have been the same approach to Cole. I don't think he would have been taking think, it. So you think K Dot would have went low on Cole like Yeah, that? definitely. I think then I think K-Dot, Cole, then K Dot never really then K Dot never really fucked with him then That's because, the point I was gonna make when he said he was gonna lose a bro. If you feel if y'all gonna beef he you gonna lose a bro because he's gonna go low on you, he didn't rock with you from the gate. You know what I mean? And that's right. the beef. Yeah, that's I feel you on that. You're right. But but the thing but the thing about it is it's like fucking with somebody is not is a is an action you know what i'm saying when you really rock with a homie it's an action you call the homie you know what i'm saying if y'all in the same area you link up you hit the bar it's an action it's not just a communication thing yeah drake show action with cole like drake brought him on tour you know what i'm saying put him on tracks you know brought him on tour again at the back of being at, at the back end of their career I haven't yeah. seen that action behind this in on the forefront, you know, on the forefront of uh with with Cole and K Dot. I feel like K Dot is a calculated nigga and he just play Cole close to the vest because he know Cole lyrically can get at his ass. Like if anybody lyrically can get at K Dot, even though I'm not a big time K Dot lyricism type of dude, but yeah you know that's his lane drake is an artist a performer that can rap these two niggas are lyrical niggas so this they really they this they genre them niggas was supposed to go head out so we could see like okay who's the best lyricist of our generation and cole didn't deliver on that after kicking up smoke for two years and k dot mm-hmm. two times then called him out and the one time the one time Cole responds on Seven Minute Drill, he 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 double tracks back on some scary shit because I don't know. That's what I don't get about it. Like K Dot done t- two times on the track with uh with Big Sean, um what you call it, and then on this last track with uh with with Future and them um, done really called out the rappers like nigga let's go at it nigga, you yeah. know? Okay, okay. So, so yeah, nah. So real quick before we leave, what you think is about? You, you think it's gonna be any responses to this song, or you think this song just live in the air and nobody care about it? What you think? I mean, I think it's just you know he getting ready to uh to release the album to fall off. You know what I'm saying? He wanted he wanted to uh, check the temperature. You know, uh, any PR person worth they salt gonna let him know like yeah, you know you left a bad taste in everybody's mouth with the uh with the way you handled the situation with Drake. You know that was a major part of your fan base uh, was Drake fans that Drake introduced you to. So you need to release something that where you touch on it a little bit and you know address the situation and, and give a better explanation on why you played it like you played it. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I feel like that's all it was was a temperature check. But you know, if if you just like like I said, lyrically, do super talented, can't deny his pen game. It's just something that you know just rubs me the wrong way when you got somebody that's showing you love and you see them getting jumped by multiple dudes out there. Like multiple people are coming at him. It's a major wave going on, and nobody's coming to his aid. Like. That's what made me feel like it's calculated because not one person came to this dude defense when you got everybody else piling on them. That's mm. that's the only thing that just gets me about it. Okay, okay. Well, man, you said a lot. I'm curious what everybody going to say in the comments. Y'all let us know in the comments what y'all think. I don't know, Gabe. You got anything you want to tell the people real quick? Hey, man, shout out to everybody out there. All right, all right, man. We going to see what y'all talking about in the comments. We going to see y'all on the next one, all right?
Peace. All right, man. Peace and love, y'all.